Let's do Let's it. Do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, how's my levels? I'm a little loud there. There we go. Welcome back. This is Corporate Infestation Session 3. I'm here with Baby Beard Media, and we're here to do the damn thing. But before we get started, make sure you guys join that Discord community of mine that I'm in. Description is uh, The link is in the description below. And I got a podcast, Tabletop Cyberpunk. I talk about Cyberpunk. Patreon.com slash John John the Wise, social media at John John the Wise. Now, one of you guys plug your stuff. Let everybody know. Absolutely. Where baby? Oh, oh, you got it. Well, oh, okay. We are Baby Beard Media, an Adelaide collective of performers and artists and directors. We have a few things going on at the moment, chief of which is our podcast, Roll to Cast, R O L E, where we play a different tabletop role playing game every season with original stories, original music, and we have a beginning, middle, and end, and then we move on to the next game, including interseason content, which is uh, interviews with the creators of each game that we happen to play. We also have a YouTube channel uh, where you can find us doing daily uploads of Let's Play content. Uh, we do it in duos, we do it in solos, we play the games that you would like us to play for as long as you'd like us to play them. And also we have a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash babybeard, where if you would like to support us, what we do, we also have extra shows, including Lunch Dates with Loki, a fun little cute show that our uh, uh, chief um, pink-eared resident Pitch Ellen it. rolls. <laughs> It's a fun little podcast where we talk about fictional characters that we have a crush on, and it's like a slumber party, but in your ears. And that's pretty much Baby Beard. <laughs> that's it. And we have joined forces to play some Cyberpunk Red today. <laughs> this is session three in the setting of heaven by yours truly over here to my side, who is Phil, playing Grandma. We're not going to do character introductions today, but... If you guys want any character introductions, go to episode one or listen to Roll to Cast, Feed the Beast, and learn all about these characters. We are going to get straight into it. But I got a question for you guys, much like last time. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to you guys about consequences. Consequences are real. Consequences are a part of life, and you just can't escape them. Now last time we left off the dreamers had showed up to the site where Garvey Hammond was murdered his body was found and through some determination from grandma it was determined that Garvey Hammond was chopped up into pieces shot in the head somewhere else for whatever reason and then his body was brought here now Grandma would be able to find out some more information if the detective on site, Detective Malini, wasn't such a hard ass. But he has something against the dreamers. He didn't like you guys. There's something about you guys, your hippie culture. He just doesn't like it. And he's a grizzled veteran of, of the South Amor and Night City. So he, did, he was not being helpful at all. But Chris... Uh, playing wax decided hey why don't i go hack into a database that they got nearby it's in this police apc and i can pull out some evidence that they're hiding from you guys because there is some kind of footage that they mentioned that they don't want to show you guys for whatever reason Uh, or malini doesn't want to show you guys because officer vargas was the one that brought it up But anyway, that's besides the point. Wax with some terrible, terrible net running. I mean, ones and then more ones. And then, I mean, the rest of the team, you guys were trying to do distractions to give him some time. And finally, at the end, he literally had to just pass one ID test. He had one chance. And Ellen playing Sprocket had a bright idea. She decided. I had an idea. <laughs> yeah, please, please yeah. tell us. Right is not really part of it. Please, no. please tell us what happened there. In I your don't want to. I feel like I'm being scolded. <laughs> I, I was trying to think of any skills that I had that could cause a diversion. Uh, so I thought, Rocket has very high Aikido, which uh, has heretofore not been used in any of our playthroughs. And uh, picking up on Officer Vargas's uh, treatment, uh, uh, him telling us that he had been uh, beaten by his uh, 
his um, superior uh, officer. Chief, yeah, superior officer. Uh, Sprocket decided to show him some self-defense moves. Um, I don't know. No one else did anything. <laughs> and, and also, what? Didn't you uh, talk about the beatings in front of the superior officer and everyone else? And that's when he's mm-hmm. like, yeah. I don't know, sure. To jail with you! John, John may have you, Aikido, you Aikido'd him so hard that his gun went flying. Yeah. Yeah. And then they said that we're under, the, under arrest, so... I do not recall. <laughs> do not recall. The great thing about this, Ellen, is that we actually have video footage of all of you of you doing exactly all of that. So it's really cool how we have that all backed up. Mm. Now I had I had a potential play. Oh, let's let's hear well, it. Let's hear it. No, let's see if it works out. <laughs> Well, last time we left off, uh, first of all, I'd like to mention that if it wasn't for Sprocket's young uh, rat friend, Vlad, we wouldn't have been able to find the access point for Wax to connect to in the first place, all right? So that's your welcome number one. Your, <laughs> your welcome number two is it's what we're searching for right now. We're, we're trying to figure out <laughs> we're trying to figure out what your welcome number two is going to be right now. As she assaulted a police officer and Detective Malini converged on you guys. And let's go straight to the map so we can get a nice visualization. Detective Malini and the other officers surrounded you as you're in front of Officer Vargas and he's like on the ground. Wax you got the file so the distraction worked and you jumped right out you jacked out and you jumped into those boxes but uh let me just read something from the core rule book for you real quick over here uh right. are you... <laughs> always um, good when the dm or gm is like let me read from the book at you. Exactly yeah. how it literally yeah. no, I love it. I you. love it, John John. Please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I just want to page one ninety nine from the core rule book. <laughs> oh just for reference, just in <laughs> case we have an edge check it up at home. Yeah. yeah. Just in case Ellen needs to check it up again. I'm yeah. guessing maybe I'm not yeah. checking up anything. Yeah, yeah. We're, mm. we're we're gonna see right now because this is in the net running section of the book, Wax. Oh. Right. Oops. There is an ability there called cloak. And it says, allows you to hide traces of your presence and any virus you left in the architecture using a net action. So if you do not use the cloak ability before jacking out, another net runner can automatically discover what actions you took in the architecture upon using the Pathfinder ability. So That's let me ask you, I mean, equipment. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just trying to remember what happened. Uh, did you yeah. by chance cloak before you jacked out? Funny you should say that. Uh, I didn't. Uh, oh, I reckon he did. I um, totally remember that he did. I, I don't Roll seem to recall I did. However, uh, I think that's in keeping with Wax's personality. Fuck it. I don't care if they know who I am. Okay. They're blessed yeah. to have had me fucking run their net. So, oh, man. So let's just remember that. I really that... hope we did not do all this for fucking nothing. I, I seem to recall Chris <laughs> saying, I wax as per the core rule book on page 199 here by <laughs> Exactly. Uh, I must have missed it. I that. mean, we still got the footage, so. Yeah, you yeah, guys got the footage. We can run it back. Say. We can run it back. Yeah. <laughs> wax is hiding in some cardboard boxes while his friends are going to get shot by police, but it's all good. We're going to figure it out. Yeah. So, let me bring you back to this scene, ladies and gentlemen. Detective Malini's last words before we stopped were, were, you are under arrest for assaulting a police officer. What is your response to that? I'm going to grab... I'm going to reach up and grab our teenager by the ear. You're going to have to reach pretty high. Yeah. <laughs> And say so that won't be necess- that won't be necessary. This teenager, a minor, has a very weird way of flirting, and we were just leaving anyway. That's my play. I said to emphasize that she's underage and we're leaving. I said, hands in the air, you're under arrest. Malini says that with venom behind it. And immediately 
you hear from a voice to your left hand side as Officer Vargas gets up. Put your gun down, Malini. Okay. What was that, uh, Vargas? I said put your fucking gun down, Malini. No one's getting arrested. And he looks right at you, Sprocket. And he says, I think we've had enough of your shit around here, Malini. And Malini begins to en enrage. And he gets close to Officer Vargas, right past Spitfire. And he says, You're out of line, Vargas. <laughs> and Officer Vargas says, No, Captain. You're out of line. And you see these other officers come up behind and they're looking right at Detective Malini and they're looking at him like, don't try something. And it's a complete huh. shift in this scenario. You guys are in the middle of this. Eat popcorn. <laughs> for, oh for, oh, what it, for what it's... For what it's worth, uh, I'm with Vargas on this one. Just, just saying, just saying. Let me tell you Can something. We, should Malini. we back up Vargas? Let's back up Vargas. Sure. Hey. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, un unsling the shotgun. Not, not ostentatiously, but just put it in hand. Mm -hmm. And and sort of align myself with Vargas. Malini is is dumbfounded. He's looking left, looking right, looking at that guy, looking at Spitfire, looking at Grandma, and he's just confused at this power struggle that's happening before his very eyes. And Vargas says, Vargas says, that man is one of their people, and they deserve to observe the body and know of any evidence that we have about him. And I'm going to grant him that. Detective Malini and you're gonna leave this crime scene and that's what's gonna happen right now and Malini just looks around and after a really awkward silence he turns around goes to one of the vehicles and drives off oh my god away from the crime scene and you guys just Hear him drive off. And Vargas is... Uh, <sighs> you you didn't need to do that for us, but I, I'm glad that you did that for yourself. You've done so many wonderful things for us today. We just want to take our man home with us. Yeah. Me, me personally, I'm glad you did it for us too, so I'll take it. I hope yeah. I haven't caused you... I, I know I have, but I'm so sorry if I've caused you any, nah, any nah. problems. But Kid, it's all good. He puts his hand up. Kid, nah, you're right. I needed to stand up to him. And I'm glad that you said what you did. Hey, uh, I just want to take that lying down, so watch your back. Hey, uh, Vargas, you, uh, you mind if we take a bit of a squeeze of the body now? Please. Go ahead. Grammar? Yeah, I'll do my thing. Just uh, give me 10 minutes. Uh, Wax, what are you doing? Keep. <laughs> uh, hiding and listening to all of this, <laughs> I presume. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, I'm wondering if I should jack back in and then do a cloak for what I've... Because uh, I left in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. I'm gonna jack back in. And, okay. Well, and... let me tell you what you would have to do. First, you would have to roll a stealth check, okay. and then Officer Vargas, being the nearest officer, will have to do a perception check against your stealth check. If you pass, okay, then you're cool. You can jack in, do what you got to do. If you fail, he'll notice you, and then that's a new problem. Sure. Okay. Uh, then maybe I don't do that maybe <laughs> i just let it be yeah let's not push it okay <laughs> we I, also I, told them that you went home in disgust so just, that's just, right <laughs> oh yeah that's right. we already said that you'd gone um i'm so gonna if you show up there's gonna be problems it's I'm a little gonna try awkward and, 
I'm going to try and sneak away uh, this way. Unless okay. maybe you were in the car. You could play it like that. And then go I've been like, sitting in the car this whole time. When are you guys coming? <laughs> and just hang out here. Uh, Vargas will do a perception check, but he'll have to crit to pass because... Oh, he rolled a one, so... Yes. Oh, great. And a 10, so he has no oh, idea. Fantastic. No. Okay. Negative yeah, yeah. nine. I'm, walk, I'm walking back. Be like, hey, what did I miss? No, I'll, I'll just hang out um, where I am, just kind of overlooking the, the car there. Sure. You, like on your agent? Like, yeah, I'm a flick of a message being like, hey, hacked it, got the info. Uh, I'll see you at the car. Okay. Gramerit, hey, are you doing an inspection of body? gonna say yeah let me can i assist grammar with that at all or is yeah yeah so you can um uh you can use any of your skills sean to that you think are appropriate and whatever you roll will determine if uh grandma's gonna get a plus one or a plus two in a complementary skill and then grandma will roll her own skill uh examining the body just wondering whether uh, well, first aid isn't really it, is it? Um, well, like, let's say, okay, you want to move the body around. Back. I would say do a dexterity check to just move the body so grandma can, like, take a look at, you know, maybe I, she's... I know something. Go ahead. He's got very good eyes. Your perception is extremely good. Yes, that's maybe actually probably could, a good point. You could point out any anomalies and I can interpret them. Let's go with, let's go with, yeah, straight perception check if that's okay, John. Yeah, 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 go ahead. And uh, you've got uh, younger eyes than me. Anything? Yeah. Uh, I miss. He's going to like kind of crouch down beside Grandma, really, really kind of squint and just goes dead silent, just kind of goes into a bit of a zone. And before he kind of like pats Grandma on the hip, uh, the hip if he sees anything. Um, uh, is paramedic uh, an okay skill to use here? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. John John so it's a dismembered body but am I correct in thinking it's the limbs are gone yeah that's Do correct we have, torso. is it a head and a torso or yeah. just a torso it's a head and, head and, and the torso because it's shot in the head yeah, yeah. right yeah yeah post, yeah post death is the last thing I discovered so 18 and if I got a plus one then 19 yeah well, I rolled a 21 yeah. yeah, so you, I would give you plus two, but either way, it doesn't matter because Spitfire, you clearly see that there's something in his pocket, uh, something bulging from the pocket. It looks like maybe it's a wallet or, or something like that from its shape. And Grandma, upon closer inspection, it's obvious that uh, he had some kind of luxury cyberware because you're looking at the, the mounting points of the mm -hmm. cyberware. And it's high grade. It's not like a bad joint. It's one of those like really well made ones. Can I detect any of that like gold filigree and stuff that the other guy had in his fan? Or or um, uh, uh, what's her name? Somebody help me. Um, who are you talking about? Strong woman. She got oh, Brunhilde. Uh, Brunhilde. Brunhilde had. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, she had like gold. Does it have any, can I see any of that gold kind of stuff in the mounting, that, that decorative N stuff? Not the exact same decorative stuff. Like it doesn't look like it's from the same brand, but it's something along the same lines. You can see like a little bit of a trim around his shoulder where like there was still a little bit of flesh. Yeah. High end, uh, looks like he had a uh, high end. Uh, Cyberware, looking at the mounts and uh, so one uh, kind of kind of similar to what we were looking at before. I think so. It seems to be a common thread through uh, people who are going missing. Can someone call Brunhilde, make sure that she's uh, still in heaven. Just hey, holy! A feeling. Wait a minute. What's what's that? And he'll 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 reach and and pull out whatever is in the pocket of um uh, of the body. Uh, sure, you pull it out and got pants. <laughs> It's uh, the top part. Uh, pocket or jacket pocket? Oh yeah, the hip part. Is still yeah, there. yeah, yeah, the cool. hip part is still there. So it's not. It's like an ugly job. It's not really like a clean yeah, cut yeah, or yeah, anything cool. like that. Uh, oh, yeah, good eyes fire. It's definitely his wallet, and it's like a really thin, like one of those uh, clip wallets. And uh, going through the diff various cards and stuff like that, there's one thing that really pops out at you. Yeah. And it's a card to a yoga studio called Transcendentia. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. what was what was the name of that um uh is that studio that yoga play? It was Transcendentia. I mean, this one, right? You know, yeah. Flip it around, right? Well, is there any kind of writing on the card, or is it just the card mm. that lets us know that um that he's that he's obviously been there at some point? Yeah, it's like the same logo and and everything. You know, it has right. like a tree logo and stuff like that. Yeah. Have we have we searched them up on CityNet? Do they have a garden patch or anything? They have like a typical garden page that says like you know let go of all your belongings. Uh, remember we it was something of that sort. So yeah, on, it's do on they have the CityNet page. Um, I don't think that we t- said that they did, but I would imagine that they would. Yeah, we didn't we didn't delve into it too much, but no, yeah. we were kind of examining Garvey's residence when yeah. we were told that his body was discovered. Yeah, the main thing yeah, we saw yeah, was yeah. the address for the place and we're like, we mm. should we should check that we place We should head that, hit yeah. that up. Yeah, and as soon as you guys well, found out, now. that's that's when they called you and said, hey, there's, the body's been found. So kind of like you put it on pause. Hey, I mean, uh... Oh, sorry, you go. I mean, two plus two equals four, right? This is clearly the next place that we need to go. I mean, the goddamn limbs are somewhere else. What's to say maybe it's right arm isn't in the goddamn studio yeah speaking of which uh vargas you said we could review the security footage uh vargas kind of looks around at the other cops and uh he says uh let me bring him closer but he basically says look um i could be suspicious if we were suddenly dropped it i can hey, infer, i can infer, do anything right i i can't let you see that footage i'm sorry it's already oh. been put into evidence and I could really lose my job. I, you've, I you've stuck your neck out for us a lot today, Vargas. We really do appreciate. Grammar, what happens now with with Mr. Garvey? Where does he go? Does he stay with the police? Or can we bring him home? I don't know if you guys need to take him to your morgue if you're going to have a car and look at him. Can we pick him up later? Is that how it's just going to roll? No, we can we can give you the body as soon as you want. We Malini just wanted to fuck with you. We our investigation is over. We've collected all the evidence we need. Okay. L? Uh, I... Yeah. Let's take it now. Uh hang on, I got a bag. Uh so I have bags with my um with my cryo pump. So I can just put him in one of those. I don't have to I don't have to cryo him up. I'm not like freezing him for to say for later but i can put Taking him in a, him. You know, yeah. yeah i can put him in a bag yeah um, I'll, I'll carry him to the car as you guys are having this conversation you suddenly hear on vargas's radio it crackles and then you start hearing gunfire coming from a speaker and you hear this is officer malini detective malini i need backup on the corner corner of 8th and meridian and just knowing as a local expert, that's the exact same corner you guys had just come from where that toll was. Hmm. I need uh, backup! Over! And you just hear gunshots, boom, boom, blasting. And Vargas looks around and he looks back at some of the officers and they just turn off their radios. Oh, oh I and love it. And Vargas NCPD, Vargas goes, come on, man. He's one of us at the end of the day. We can't just leave him. And they just turn their backs on Vargas. And Consequences. He, I mean, you kind of can. He was a bit of a dick. He beat your asses. I don't think he deserves your, it's your backup. It's your fault, Vargas. You, If he is going to get into a big fight, guns blazing, then then you shouldn't feel guilty for for what might happen to him you've you've already done so much today and clearly he is a man with a bit of a death wish as far as i'm concerned vargas looks at you all with a sympathetic look and he says listen i know malini's a piece of shit all right but he's he's an ncpd officer at the end of the day can you no, nah, it's not your place. But could you go? Do I, and, w- would you, you go? Backup? 
Would you go and back him up? Would you do it? Hey, Vargas, would he, would he give you the same courtesy? No. We could be better than him. I mean... I mean, that's a pretty low bar. I think we already are. I'm not going to tell you, you what to do. Would you come with us? I'm not going to tell you what to do, and I'm, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. And he definitely Vargas, does not deserve it. Vargas, are you going whether we go or not? I can't go. I have to be at this crime scene. I'm in charge of it. And if these guys aren't going, then no one's going. Hey, were there just out of memory? There, there were, was like uh, six or seven. There was quite a number of them. Mm-hmm. Cars? But how many people? No, that's what I mean. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, why don't oh, you like guys give me a, a roll of concentration? Yeah, roll me a concentration and then I'll let you know. Awesome. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Where is my constant? There it is. <laughs> oh. Concentration? Spitfire remembers fucking nothing. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Oh, Sprocket nice. remembers Sprocket. everything. Yeah, yeah. Sprocket with <laughs> Sprocket a critical. Will remember that. <laughs> so you guys uh, remember? I don't know, like uh, Sprocket, you remember there were one, two, three, four, five, six combatants over there. Assault rifles, submachine guns. They shot at your car, which, by the way, oh. is still shot, by the way, <laughs> your car. Mm. Um, uh, but yeah, but you do did know. Did it break any? It got shot at, but we didn't. We didn't lose like windows. Still no. got like some HP left on the windows and it's stuff. It's got half HP as I yeah. think. Half HP. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to bring it like straight into the middle of the battlefield. You could park it a little bit further away if you decide to do that. Hey, I'm. I'm just saying. I feel like transmutation is the better option at the moment. We have a very pressing issue, and I'm just saying, the more time we spend not solving this murder and what happened the harder it's going to be in the long run we have more pressing issues there's no there's no moral dilemma here it's simple we have a job to do he tried to stop that he got in the way and now he must face the consequences we would be helping officer vargas don't forget we could have had our butts on the line just now and he decided to help us out clearly he has he is a good person, and he wants this person to to feel like he has support and not go down in a, you know, bloody fury. Grammar, you remember both the corporal <laughs> and, and the hot zone. Come on, you're with me with this, aren't you? I'm so torn right now. I have no idea who I side with on this. I know what the right thing to do is, but it's... it's with me, so that's life, already like, two votes. Not much. <laughs> Don't fuck it up. It's risking our life for someone who just who who would not do the same for us. And it is deadly. Like this is this is not a position we need to put ourselves in. We can't afford to. Split the Vargas, you're too good for the NCPD. If you're uh if you take my advice, get out and go solo. I'm sorry. We 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 got our own to look after. You hear over the radio again, please! I need backup. I'm shot. I'm shot. And nothing. Fuck. Okay, can we swing in and pick him up? Try. You really want to do this? I don't want to do it, but look at her goddamn face. She's always got that goddamn face. Imagine Vlad sitting on my shoulder making the same face. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna. We're gonna run to the car. Okay, punch it, everybody. God damn it. <laughs> All right. In for, in for a penny, in for a euro buck, I guess. <laughs> okay. This is cyberpunk, baby. This is moral. No, this is cyberpunk ethics. would be letting him fucking die. Yeah. That but where's the Sean moral is correct. quandary? Mm. Sean, Sean is cyberpunk. Sean there is no moral quandary. <laughs> Sean is correct, but uh, Spitfire is too good and innocent. Spit, Spitfire? Yeah. No, Sprocket. Yeah, I did this in the campaign as well. Hey, you guys oh. you guys are dreamers and your reputation mm-hmm. is on the line right here. Exactly. Oh, no. Yeah, it's about to become a fucking nightmare is what it is. <laughs> oh, no. You haven't even told Wax yet. I know. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. Have... I'm waiting. He has no You're idea. To have he has yeah. no Look, idea. James. Yeah. Cover me 
I'll stick him in a bag, pump him full of cryo shit, and we'll burn out of there, okay? I'll put myself on the line. You just get ready to, to get this the hell out of there, okay? If Need it gets everyone. Hot, if it gets hot, we're leaving. And I, that's I whether understand. he's with us or not. I understand. I approve of that That decision. Going to help him if we can. But if we can't, then we need to go. My one Wax question... Dick Face got himself in trouble. My one question is, are you going to take Garvey Hammond's body as well and have two two bodies in your car? <laughs> Probably fit. Like Could Garvey's it? pretty yes. small right now, right? Yeah, true. <laughs> so he is already a corpse. Like, as much as we want to be respectful... He is not. He's gonna be no, fine. We just, we just chuck him in the back. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. yeah we just put him in the boot. And Mo- just, Malini like, won't be lonely then. You know. Yeah. Can we just flip it? Won't. No, he'll be cryo pumped. Can we just flip yeah. it heads or tails and just flip the body? I do it. Please. <laughs> is this heads or tails to determine if you guys I are gonna do like it? A... Oh, no, flip Garvey Hammond. Like, just it's half a body. You can flip it. Oh. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I, let's thought, fucking do it. I thought we were flipping for like who's going on top yeah. or like no. where we're putting no. our body. We're I flipping will... the body to be, whether we provide backup. But begrudgingly, Spitfire will 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 follow Grammar, um, and he'll he'll kind of he'll he'll get his uh, arrows out. Um, he'll get his crossbow out at the ready, and just sigh with all that's left of his soul. Officer Happy gave us a sorry, sorry, Wax. Officer Happy asked us a favor, on which we have to return because Officer Officer uh, Malini Rumblenuts has got himself in trouble back on the corner we just bounced from. So, for the record, yeah. Wax, I voted to fucking leave him. Right. So, like, we, we could be- have we can have like an officer on the pay. We are saving an officer's life who's quite high ranks, like. This seems yeah. like a good idea. And Invest. then if he dies, there's no skin off our nose. So it's fine. This seems like a win win. We yeah, save enough of his life and have someone on the payroll, or like and if kind we of die, we, he owes, our, owes us his life. And if he dies, nothing happens and we leave. Cool. Let's what do it. We, what about if we die? Hmm? Well, then that's a problem and we should probably fix that. So let's ensure <laughs> that none of us die. <laughs> Love Always Wax's approach to life. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's like when you're running a net, don't die. Speaking of, those Let's nets are this- fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> I like. Are we are we are we rolling while this happens? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. this is this is fully. Yeah. God, Spitfire hates Wax sometimes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's. Hey, Brock, hey. She's the one who convinced me. Hey. You wanna? You think you're gonna die? Well, then don't. Stop dying. Sometimes badass <laughs> to be die. nice. I find. <laughs> True. And also, you know, it's okay. not like it could be without. Grandma benefits. knows better than this. Uh oh. You guys okay. should be up north over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Just scrolling in. Or you want to give me a difficult perception check, or do you want to get closer before you do a perception check? Nah, let's I'll try go it. For a, I'll go for his perception, perception right now. He's, yeah. His Spitfire is on fucking edge. Okay. What do your techie eyes see? I'll also roll perception. Okay. Uh, Nin- the difficult one. 19. 19, almost. Uh, if the if um, Wax gets over a 17. Oh, yeah. crushed it. Crushed it. 25, critical. Very good, Wax. So up ahead, before you guys are really in vision of this whole scenario, you see that there's already a few dead bodies on the ground. And when there was six, there's now only four. And they are in a heated battle with Malini. Malini is shot, leaning on this car, hanging on for dear life. He's bleeding from his face. He's bleeding from his arms. And he's just popping shots over his shoulder, not really trying to hit anybody, just trying to survive. Cool. Get me close. Wax will relay all of that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's Should get we close. get closer in the car, shoot out, and then try and get as close to Malini as possible to chuck him in? I don't trust this car is going to take many more shots. I think we have to book it on foot. Anyone want to come with me? No, but I will. Okay. Cool. Let's do this I'm thing. With you. 
Let's fucking get rambling, ramblers. Well, should I come with, or... I mean... Cover. I, keep the engine running. I yeah. know. I know. Okay. Okay. Does um, anyone want any grenades? Uh, what you got? <laughs> Dex <laughs> Athletics. Uh, I probably cannot throw this very well at all. I have Frag. I have Incendiary. Uh, um, oh, what's her name? Skip? Skip was he nice enough to lend me EMP. No, no, save that. Just just give me a frag. Okay. Right, let's do this thing. All right. So I'm going to let you guys, since it's a complete shock to the enemies of you guys coming, I'm going to let you guys tell me exactly where you're going to be standing right now before we start initiative. How close can we get? I'd say up to this car oh. over here. Before they realize that you're part of uh, his backup. I think um, Spitfire. Oh, yep, Grammar took my spot. Damn, there we go. Well, I've got to get. I've got to get him in a cryo pump. Yeah, bag. yeah, you got to get him in the yeah. cryo pump bag. That's right. Yeah. And that's how far you want the car to be. I'd like to be. Uh, Maybe split um, the difference. It's about yeah, twenty meters. Bit. Like ten. So 10 meters, so it would be like around here. And that would put yeah. you about 30 meters from like the closest combatants. Yeah, they would have to yeah. get a lot closer to do some damage. Yeah. Uh, do I move it or you? Uh, you should be able to move it. Can you? Yes, I just don't know how where that 10 meters was. Oh, oh, but oh, let's oh. just say that's where I am, even if I'm A little bit closer. Up. Okay. Right there, oh, perfect, shit. perfect. <laughs> That's fine, we'll say that. Split the difference by one meter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see here. I just want to pop this out for my reference. Okay, so as you guys are getting closer, Malini looks up and he's yeah, absolutely shocked to see you guys. And he has he really has no words. He's just like, help me. That's all he can say. Mm-hmm. And let's get initiative going here. Give me one second. Let me put you guys in combat. I am that cat right now. Track. <laughs> I'm trying to... Hold on. Oh, yeah, there we go. We need to have a character who's like um, Quicksilver from X-Men. Just kind of like vibe into some new wave 80s electro <laughs> while they're like saving the day <laughs> that's probably wax actually I, yeah. I was just about to say i think you've described wax i've just described <laughs> wax <Yeah. laughs> except not played by evan peters <laughs> no that's right played by the much more attractive and charming chris bond chris bond oh uh, there you go <laughs> at, at me evans <laughs> do it start a twitter war fucking at me <laughs> so um, <laughs> baby beard versus yeah. we need the clown. <laughs> he's definitely he's definitely watching, so Yeah, he's a big oh, fan. Yeah. Friend yeah. of the big cast. fan of my work. At least. <laughs> he's not doing much at the moment, so it's fine. Okay, we <laughs> have uh, we have begun combat. If you look on the top right corner, there's like a fist icon. That'll bring up yep. the encounter. Mm -hmm. And you yep. could roll your initiative from there. Fantastic. And I'll roll for these guys over here. Hey! Okay, Spitfire's up there. Even if Spitfire. I'm just in driving. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Dude, we got some criticals. Jesus. Some critical bads as well for Ellen. Jesus. Uh, Ellen's all the way at the bottom. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so Spitfire, you are first to go. Yeah, he, so as he as they book it towards the car and, and you hear uh, Malini say, help me, he just says, Maybe the first word you could be is thank you and after we save your ass. And then he's going to get the crossbow out um, and go for a, a, a straight shot with one of his armor piercing rounds um, at. Ooh, who we got here? That guy's um, 24 meters. Uh, I don't think you have line of sight on that guy yet. Yeah, he's going to go for the, the, that one in the middle that he can see right there, the 24 meters. Okay, so with the crossbow, you're going to need to beat a 17. I got a base of 15, so let's do this. 
Spitfire's not a little bit excited to be shooting people with arrows again. I how many points you fucking put in. You put in your archery, man. It is dope. Boom. <laughs> 22. You yes. fire your like arrow. I said. It finds its mark. Give me your damage. Now, how do I do damage in here? Let's just uh, have a look. Uh, damage with crossbow. There we are. Yeah. That roll? No, here we go. Uh, damage. It should be 4d6, right? Yeah. Ooh, 13. Okay. Uh. They're, they're behind a van as far as I can see. I didn't even see that, yeah. Yeah, it's dark. Uh, you can zoom like... it in. I've zoomed it in a bit, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, your arrow finds its mark. It takes a chunk out of his armor. And you can easily see where part of his armor jack is shredded open with this bolt. He grabs it with his off hand. And will that end your turn? Uh, yeah, at this point, he's just going to he will take the shot, look over at Malene and just say, should have been nicer to us. He, it doesn't he, matter. It was he has, him anyway. Yeah, he has no words. He's, he's dying. <laughs> well, he, would yeah, have been, it's like he wouldn't guilt. be here. He'd be with That's us. True. That is us. true. It's the Sorry. ultimate guilt trip. <laughs> it is. I do love that he has no words. He's dying. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Very good. Yes. Oops. Spitfire, I love you. But he's <laughs> sarking on a man who is literally dying. It, Spitfire is at his best when he's pissed off. It's true. I was the going more to you say, start, the better you are. It means that he can't get a word in. So Spitfire's like having the time of his life. Oh, yeah. People aren't talking <laughs> over him. Uh, <laughs> Detective Human. Malini, is, it's his turn, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. going to crawl towards you, Grandma, and just, like, h hide right behind you over here. And he's not even going to shoot. And that'll end his turn. Is he actively dying? Yeah, if, on your turn, you would see that, but it's obvious that he's dying. Yeah, okay. okay. Imagine Wax. if someone asked you that in the ER. <laughs> Are you, like... Actively, actively dying. <laughs> are you making hmm. are you making death saves right now? <laughs> I'm indirectly saving dying. right now. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wax is gonna have to. Well, these two can hold down the fort. Wax has to move up a tiny bit um, to to be effective. So he's gonna move into here. Wax will jump over the car in an uncool fashion. Mm -hmm. I tried to roll cool and and did not do terribly well. No. Um, but he will take a single pistol shot at this target on the left-hand side here. Um, this one. Yep. Can I double-click it? How do I? It's all right. Uh, and I have to roll, I think, plus 20 because I'm not within uh, 12 meters. Because uh, uh, I have a heavy pistol. 15 meters. Yeah, I think that's 20 plus. Uh, 15 is 25, yeah. Yeah. 25? Yeah, yeah. You, you uh, want right. to maybe get closer? Uh, no, I'm good there. Uh, wait, what am I... What's my base? Uh, idea, idea, idea. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh. Hang on, 14. Uh, 25 plus. Yeah, I've got to move closer. Okay. I need 10s. I got 10s up to, to be that. I'm going to move there then. So okay. It's a very short range. Um... And so that's what range is that now? Uh, if you hold control, it's like a faster ten, way to get ten. to it. Yeah. Yeah. There ten. we go. Cool. Oh, you can just hold control. Ten-ish. Yeah. So twenty. Yeah. Great. Uh, twenty to hit. All right. Let's do this thing. Do it, baby. Do it. No. Ooh, just shy. <laughs> if you if you had that cool check, if you got it, I know you would have hit. Oh, do you get one more oh, shot, man. don't you? I do. I have a second shot. All right, fire Yay. again. There it is. All right, second hit. shot hits. Roll your damage. Not great. Uh, yeah, mm. not that great. Not bad, but not great. Uh. Okay, but this person is mortally wounded. You can see that they already had some wounds on them now that you realize it. And oh, and she's like bleeding all over this vehicle as she was shot again. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be grandma's turn. Uh, my turn's very easy. Uh, so uh, is is he willing to go in a cryo bag? He's willing to go into cryo bags, yes. Lay flat. 
I drop it over him, flip him into it, zip it up. <laughs> Hypercool liquid fills it up and he just goes, um, uh, before he goes in, I go, you're not going to feel anything. <laughs> and it just uh, pumps it full of hypercooled liquid and he goes into stasis. And I, Those forearms must be like super ripped if she's just able to like flip bodies willy nilly and... Hey, it's adrenaline. Yeah. She's like <laughs> She's not no, she's just a body. <laughs> <laughs> so My body is just like that, you inflate the bag and then two big handles pop up from there. You can carry him yourself uh, or you can have someone <laughs> help you. That's so awesome. Yeah. So now it is going to... That, that will end your turn unless you want to move, but mm -hmm. you can't really move. I think, no, you uh, can... I'm, I'm in... Uh, I'm trying to yeah, think. Yeah, I can move. I have a move of four. So I have eight meters of movement. Which yeah. It's not very far. Okay, so uh, maybe wait so. for the car. Yeah. If I go anywhere, I'll be out of cover. So I'll, gotcha. I'm not going to. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you will remain in cover over there. Uh, and okay. it will be this person's turn on the right hand side. This booster, if you remember, she was the one that you gave the speed heal to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah our friend. Yep. Tora. She pops out from cover over here, and she's going to hit Grandma with an auto-fire. So from that range, 17 meters, she needs a 25. She okay. aims her uh, submachine gun at you, and she fires. Oh, it's wide. Da -da 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 -da. It goes all around you, hits the car, it ricochets, and she's not able to hit you. And that'll end her turn. Uh, this is what I was not happy about. Uh, this person over here is going to hop, oh, try to crawl over here, and with heavy negatives, minus two, she's going to fire her shotgun at Wax. Oh, God, a shotgun at that range? Jesus. Ooh, she oh, she critted. Uh, 22. Uh -oh. I believe that's a hit, even with yeah. the minus two. That's okay. Wax, just don't die. Okay. Okay, that's 10 meters. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. Okay, here we go. How many cryo bags you got, there, my, uh, That was it. Unless you want to take Garvey out of his, <laughs> but I only have I only have one charge in the pump, so uh, I don't Holy know what's going on. Shit. Oh my god! Oof. Oh my god! Oh my god! Twenty three damage. Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, shotguns suck. Oh my god, dude, that's a lot. Ablate your armor yeah. by one and take uh, 12 damage. 12 damage, yep. I yep, think yep, that yep. puts you in mortal. Uh, it's not great, I gotta say. Let Ugh. me just ablate my armor first. Okay. What is that? Uh, it should be yep. in your character setup, I believe, or equipment. I'm not exactly uh, combat sure. Combat setup. Yeah, okay. I think uh, so. You have to right click your your token and alter it's above your it's above yeah your head on your yeah you can alter that oh fantastic oh there it is uh and then i took how many how much damage 22 yeah so no minus uh 11. minus 11 so it was uh 12 My damage oh tw 12 damage yeah yeah 12 damage Oh, pardon, you're right. Yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah. a okay. six and three fives and a two. Oh yeah. my god, that's insane. Ouch. Okay. No double sixes, though. Oh, look at his, look yeah. at that health bar. It's in orange. Yeah, it's I'm orange. on I'm on 17 of 35. So. Ah, it's red is deadly, though. It's not as deadly as 2020, though. <laughs> uh, this guy over here <laughs> is... the internet trolls in here just a second ago? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what are you doing? Get out. I think they're gonna take shots at me, maybe. He's gonna <laughs> he's gonna jump over here and he's going to assess the battlefield and he's gonna roll a tactics roll. And if he beats a DV thirteen, then he's gonna give everybody around him a plus one to hit. Okay. Ooh, fourteen just barely passes. He looks and he says, "He's wounded. They're trying to take that cop into that bag." Aim your fire at him and aim your fire at her. And that no, will end that. his turn. No, nope, don't need to do that. Uh, this guy is going to have to choose. I'm going to flip. Can you flip a coin for me, Ellen? Heads, she goes sure. for wax. Tails, she goes for grandma. 
Wax, you can dodge bullets, right? I'm just about to, yeah. Yeah. Tails. Tails, she goes for grandma. You're lucky. Oh, my God. All right. Am I in cover here? Just FYI. Am I behind this car? Uh, You are behind this car. That's why he's exposing himself over here. He's going to completely expose himself to try to get line of sight on you. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. And he's going to fire at you with his assault rifle, single shot. A 16? I don't know if that hits, actually. That is uh, 12 meters uh, assault rifle. Yeah, it's just barely a hit. (laughs) Just barely a hit. All right. Come on. Can't roll that well again. Oh, my God. God. It's the same. What are you doing? It's the same. It's 21 damage. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Oh good, Holmes. Don't apologize. <laughs> Bring it on. Bring on the vibe. This is, right. this, is, this, is, uh, this is how it works. The, I'm this letting the dice do baby. the talking, dude. Man, Spitfire, Spitfire lost his parents. He's about to lose his grandma. Hey, That's do right. not jinx this for us. <laughs> Sprocket, bring that car around. It is your turn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Damn, I'm, well, I also basically take, want to get uh, up to everyone. Um, If I can, like... Uh, how do you rotate it? Uh, control and the mouse wheel. There oh, yeah. Go. What was it? 21 minus 11? Yeah. I want to get up here, basically, and if I can, like, open one of the doors, uh, passenger side, and just grab someone and hurl them in. I don't know what role that would be. Yeah, so Grandma got shot. You saw a bullet connect as you're driving, and she kind of stumbles as she's hit with that. It was it was a deep hit, too. So um, the car door is now open, and anybody that's near it can just go in on their turn. Mm-hmm. And we're going to start a new combat round. You can shoot from the car. Yeah, I was going to say, I also want to make sure that my shotgun is at the ready while... Yeah. I'm getting everyone into the car. Also, yeah. I'm in the car. I'm not standing way over there. Yeah, so from the driver's <laughs> seat there, it looks like seven, uh, 16 meters to the nearest person. Mm-hmm. So if you want to shoot them, I'm going to need a... Ooh, with the shotgun, it's a 25. You might want to use uh, something else. Do you have a pistol? Yeah, yeah you have a pistol. Right. Or no. Yeah, I have a... um. Uh, oh, gosh. What's it called? An AR assault rifle. Yeah, that's the one. Pull out the assault rifle. It's a 13 to hit. Cool. This is what you get for being a second campaign character. Just <laughs> an arsenal of guns. <laughs> uh... I know what I'm doing with my turn. Running Blowing everyone up with a grenade. <laughs> oh, <laughs> rifle isn't in my sheet. <laughs> Just the SMG. It's all right. If you have it, I believe you. So you don't have to worry about that. Just roll uh, okay. your long uh, uh, shoulder arms. Shoulder arms. It's the same right. as your shotgun roll. Yeah. Okay, cool. No worries. Yeah, you can just roll a shotgun, in fact, if you want. Ooh, oh. critical. Perfect. <laughs> well done. Roll your damage. Uh, the nice. mush. Uh, oh. Is it the same as a? It's five d six. Yeah, five d six. Yeah, it's just it's oh, okay. the main difference is the range. The yeah. effective yeah. range. Twenty is very very good. So These damage rolls. Jesus Christ. I know, dude. They're not Boom. taking my family. Your shot connects and it hits this dude's neck, and you see blood spraying, and he immediately puts his hand on the wound, but you can tell that that hit him deep. And it's going to be Spitfire's turn. Okay. <laughs> Question. What are the mechanics in terms of if I wanted to run and grab Wax and pull him behind cover? Is that possible to do in a turn? Yeah, yeah I would allow it? it. I would tell you to roll like an athletics move. check, DV13, and you can throw him behind some cover. All right. So he's just going to like throw a look at Malini like this is on you if he dies. And he's <laughs> going to... And he's going to shelf the crossbow, rush out to try and, like, grab uh, Wax around the waist and just pull him back into cover. Okay. Tell you what, I'll tell you what, Malini, look, he gives you back. Yeah, he, he's frozen, dude. 
Carbonite. <laughs> hey, I'll be right back, guys. Let me go put my son down real quick, and I'll come back. No worries. No worries. All right. Children will do that. So, Spitfire, on your turn, you want to run over to Wax and throw him into cover or drag him into cover with you? Drag him into cover with me. Okay, so we're looking at uh, five. What's your move? Uh, my move should be... Uh, why don't I have it on my sheet? It's in here. characters. Oh, it's you go. Uh, my move is six. Sorry. Move is six. Okay, so that's five. Twelve meters. And yeah, and then right here would be twelve. But if you make a good athletics roll, I'll let you go far enough where you can get behind this car. Over Great. Here. Let's let's do that. Any athletic uh, or? Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, it's that, it's it's, it's, that, it's that thing, like, like, yes, technically in the, in the, uh, the order of initiative, we have the next three turns, but he, as soon as he sees Wax get hit with that shotgun stoke, he was going to race to try and grab, that's just what he would do. Um, so that's a, a lovely little athletics check. I save oh. you, brother. A 19 is good enough. You do exactly <laughs> that. You can oh. run right up to Wax, throw him behind that car, and both of you can like occupy the same little spot behind that car and be in cover. Yeah, so he's, yeah. he's literally going to dart forward, head down. He's going to slide on his knees just to be like kind of behind Wax in a toboggan-style freeze frame. He's going to latch around his waist and just kind of pull back and shuffle, and just they're just going to fall backwards with Wax on top behind the car. Perfect. You want me to move your guy? Oh, yes, please. It's hard uh, to do it because of these stupid tokens oh, here. I, oh, my God, the car! <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I just had to do that to... Uh, I shoved the car turn. out the way. I That's what the athletics test was for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. The car. <laughs> you know I was also going like to say... Superhuman strength in moments of, like, yeah. severe stress. I was Phil, also going doing, to say... Were you doing an uwu? Yeah, because he fell on top of you. Oh, what if we, right. Okay. I was also behind, going to add on to that. Car. If we have, like, you know, we have some awesome fans. I wonder if we, if people make, um, you know, uh, there's a shipping fans community pick <laughs> for our characters. <laughs> if so, Uwe. that's a moment right there. <laughs> that's it. Spit wax. That's it. <laughs> spit wax. Spit wax. That's disgusting. Oh, spit wax. I love it. Disgusting, dude. <laughs> wax fire. Wax like, fires. Whatever you guys way less, better. But that's less that's, gross. That's just a candle. Because <laughs> yeah. it bright, it's bright and burns I've hot. I brought you wax fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's uh, what I'm doing. Yep. Thanks, Holmes. Well, it's wax. <laughs> wax, it's your turn. Oh, Ow. it's my turn. Yes. Uh, oh, wax will fall on Spitfire and be like, ugh. All right. <laughs> uh, and we'll try and. Wax has really slow move. He is a move of four. Mm -hmm. um, he's not fast at all. Um, so he's going to try and like crawl over the car. I think he has the range for it. Sure. Uh, you can yeah. do a you could do over. a run action and for your entire turn and just get into the car. Um. No. I because uh, I want to get behind that car and then I want to take shots so that we can kind of stagger our retreat. Gotcha. I don't want to. I don't want to throw. I don't want to take myself off combat uh, and leave Spitfire out there. You got it. All uh, right, shoot. Go first. ahead. Uh, yeah, sorry. Shooting first, so I, I'm within that range there. Uh, and that's what... Come on, give me the range, please. The control. There you go. Yeah. Uh, 17. Yeah. I think it's my closest... Well, the... Uh, the guy, guy behind the blue way. car is in cover. You can't see him. The other one yeah. over here is slightly... No, I think you can see that person. You can see everybody else. Okay. Yeah. So behind the blue car, this guy is out of co uh, in cover. Everyone else is... I'm going to take that shotgun. Check out. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. Fire a 16-meter shot with your pistol is going to be a 25. Nope. That'll miss the first one. First shot and misses. the second one. Oof. Uh, that'll also hey. miss, I think. That is a hey. miss. No, it's a yeah. miss at that range. Pistols have a short range. So you fire wide, you hit the car on the first shot, second shot goes over her head, and that'll end your turn. Grandma. And I'll whip it out of there. I mean, you are dealing with a shotgun slug to the chest. like. Yeah, okay. I'm 
Jesus. Uh, so can you tell me what the DV for a grenade to here is? Uh, <laughs> let's see. 15 meters is going to be... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hold on one second. It should be a 17. <laughs> Let me look That's the sound of one of the cars screeching. <laughs> seventeen. So my base dex athletics. Or them getting hit by shotgun. Seven. So I'd need at least a ten. So if I put five points of luck in, yeah, I that's can turn it into a fifty-five 50. up. Yeah. Yeah. Or I can put seven points of luck in. You should. Because I am a very lucky character. You're gonna put yeah. luck. Oh, you put you have seven points of luck. Seven yeah. luck. Good for you. Seven luck. I like it. Okay. It's uh, really yeah. handy when you know. need it. Uh, <laughs> I say just, yeah, throw all your points of luck in and throw a grenade and don't roll yeah. a one. So I'm going to use seven points of luck to roll my death athletics to put a grenade Light em up. Uh, right here. They're 10 meters, aren't they? Yeah, so you want to hit all three of them. Got it. Oh, like that. wow. Yeah. That's dope. It's a big, big That's radius. Dope. All uh, right. So yes, De Dex Athletics plus seven. Got it. I crit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need it for that twenty nine. <laughs> oh, Every is single so time, useful, dude. Luck is so good. Oh, so I if love. If he didn't have put the luck in, he wouldn't have he rolled wouldn't the crit. Have done it. Yeah, but imagine Rust. having all of those points in other <laughs> attributes. <laughs> nah. No. <Nah. Luck. laughs> The luck facilitated hey. the great roll. We'll, ah, of course. we'll see sorry. how good yeah, yeah. of a decision that was right now. Roll me 60. Is it 66, right, for grenades? Six uh, or eight? I, I eight think it's eight for a rocket launcher. Uh, so yeah, rocket I think launcher. it's just 66. six for a grenade. But you could get up to 36 if you're uh, super. I don't have them on my character sheet, so how about I just click this six times yep. and plus roll. Oh, terrible roll, though. And, I mean, yeah. 20 damage all around. All right, the the grenade. You how do you throw it? Is it a toss? Is it an underhand? Uh, so it's a pretty decent range, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, at sixteen, it's a pretty good throw. So it has to be like a like a pop over, and then a, a, a shoulder throw over uh, overhand. Proper technique, like World War One yeah. trench fighting technique. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do that over the shoulder toss. It hits its exact target where you wanted it to go. And boom, you see shrapnel fly all around. This guy uh, up above you, he is obliterated. You just see shrapnel go into his head and into his face. And his face is just gored. And then these two are going to take 20 damage. Uh, let's see here. Uh and the car he's behind as well. Yeah, exactly. The car is fucked up, and I'm just doing math real quick. Oh, yeah. Quick math. Quick math. And then two he's going to... Two is four. Quick math. That's one, that's three. And as an armor-piercing grenade, both of their uh, armor ablates by two. And that is it for your turn. Big giant explosion. Can... Big moves. I... Oh, yeah, you I... can move. I can also get in the car, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can move. You can move Malini into there, actually. Okay. Yeah. We both, like, I haul Malini into the car. Okay. Yeah. If if anyone's kind of getting into the passenger sprocket or help pull them in. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. Uh, okay. This one uh, is... Ooh. This next Good combatant time. is at half HP. Almost. Almost at half HP. And she is going to get her senses about her and try to figure out what the hell's going on and get line of sight over here on Spitfire. And she's going to auto fire. Maybe she'll get a little bit closer here. So what do we got? We got 12 meters. All right. Ooh. 12 meters. Hey, Sean. Guess who's getting uh, lit up? It's you. 20 or higher. I was trying to find what that is in... Uh... What was that, sorry? Oh! You're getting lit up, Holmes. You're nope. getting a bunch of shots fired at you. It's not Wait. enough. It's not enough. She fires wide and hits the car, hits around you. Spitfire, you're ducking down in your cover, and your cover saves you. Uh, oh. Shotgun person. Shotgun person is going to move a little bit forward and take a shot at Spitfire. Here is the shotgun shot. A 415. I don't believe that's enough at range of 12. I don't believe it is. Nope, it is not. Another missed shot. Fires short, hitting the ground in front of you. Spitfire. People are just shooting at you from all around now. 
Uh, this guy is going to run over here. Uh, no, he's not going to have line of sight on anybody there. Uh, he'll come out over here and he'll just start popping shots at Sprocket's vehicle. He has a uh, he has a very heavy pistol, so that's only one shot. Ooh, nine twenty. I believe that might be a hit. It's kind of far. Sixteen meters. Uh, nope. He would need a twenty-five. Fires wide, hits the windshield. Bing! It banks off Ooh. of the uh, bulletproof windshield. It was a big crack too. Big round, and it'll be Sprocket's turn. Uh, yeah, I'm going to, so we've still got two people firing at us. Yep. Three, technically, I think. Yeah, this three. One, this yeah. One, this one. yeah. Um, I'm probably just going to aim for the person closest, which is, I don't know if I can select them, but, uh. Just I, I have a, I have a suggestion that I normally wouldn't do, but I think it would be really cool if you did it. What if you ran him over? <laughs> no, because then we get whiplash, John John. Well, then we get whiplash. I don't think you would. Would you? Is that the rule? No, everyone in the car gets everyone whiplash. Car don't gets think it. I haven't thought about doing this before. That sucks. Because I did loads of times. How bad is whiplash, by the way? It's a critical... Six, yeah, it's a critical injury. You, yeah, it's a critical so, injury. Five damage so, and plus, plus one... Death save penalty, I think. And you do that. need to get it seen too. But I believe mm. they take 6d6 damage. They do. They do. They yeah. do. It's, it's cool as shit. <laughs> I've always wanted to do it, but I've just never been able to risk. You need a, you need a cow catcher on the front of your car. I know. I do. <laughs> or a cow. <laughs> All right. Do your thing then. Over the cow. I yeah, believe I'm you're using gonna... your assault rifle. So Yeah. I'm just going to shoot it at the person closest. Okay. Go Sorry, man. I I wish I could do it too. I really do. No, no, it's all. Yeah, good. unlike GTA, unlike as shown in GTA, people's bodies are quite heavy. What? Holy fuck! Holy Ooh, shit! Ooh, beautiful critical. All right, roll your damage. What the hell? Five d six. Nice. Seventeen damage, and that is uh, dead. Almost lights out. Almost lights out. She is on death's door, dude. Uh, with sub sub five HP, mm -mm. and you fire at her. It hits something vital, and you see her go down on one knee, and you see the life coming out of her. She's fighting to stay alive, and it'll be Spitfire's turn. Um, so am I able to get into the car? In, in is that close enough for me to get into from where I am? Uh, let's see. I would say yes. Yeah, eight meters. Yeah, you can get in All there. All right, so before he books it and he'll be the first one because we can start to stagger now uh, into the car, he's first going to take a... Um, he's going to take one of his purple-tipped arrows, which mm -hmm. are his poison arrows, mm -hmm. and he's going to take a shot at the shotgun bitch um, on the very left-hand side there and he's going to take her out. Gotcha. So the way that a uh, poison works um is that i will roll um and it's not gonna so anyone that meets hit by your attack must attempt to beat a dv13 uh torture drugs check and if you fail uh 2d6 directly to your hit points um does nothing to your armor gotcha okay so, uh, so first roll to hit i'm i'm assuming yeah i'm just gonna do that attack you'll need a 15 crushed it with the 24 and yeah, yeah, yeah. John, so, John. so now I have to do a uh, a DV thirteen torture drug check. Okay, here we go. Here it is. James, Ooh, oh. critical! Oh, son of a bitch! Well, well. The the arrow lodges into her armor jack, but the toxin just pours into the armor and does not penetrate her skin. Son of a bitch! And um, then you get into the car. I'm assuming. Yeah. And he's going to... Language, Duke, Jimmy. <laughs> Dukes of Hazard style, he's going to slide over the car, uh, sidle past Wax, and like, time to go, chumbers! Well, in that case, if you're going to do something cool, roll me a d10 and try to roll under your cool. God damn it, okay. I'm going to uh, borrow this, by the way. Yeah, I did I, it on James Hutt, and he loved it. <laughs> I'm actually going to roll this game. one... Yeah. I'm going to roll this one physically. Yeah, yeah, do, do it. it. Analog, baby. 
Uh, what did you say I had to get? Under, Under your, your cool, cool stat. Oh, great. I rolled a two. All right, perfect. Yep. You do a beautiful pirouette spin over this hood, and you're going to get a plus one to all your attacks and anything else in combat. Nice. Because you're just so the hopefully... coolest one on the battlefield. But hopefully, by next round, we are fucking out of here. Let me just move you because I can't there. get you in there. All right. Okay, now it is uh, Wax's turn. Mm -hmm. Wax Ugh. will take a shot at uh, his last shot at this dingus dongus over here. Yep, mortally um, wounded. I mean, she's on death's door. Yeah, well, that means she'll be easy to kill. Yep, exactly. Mm. Um, two shots from the pistol. First one. Not gonna Come hit. On, Chris. For a second one. one. Oof. I don't even even think uh, that hits. Let's see. It's 20? twelve meters pistol. It hits. Hey, look actually, at that. uh, yeah, yeah, it hits twenty right on it. Nice. Uh, let's throw some damage away. Do it. No, uh, that's not. Eh, that's average. Eleven. It's enough. You fire your pistol. It hits the mark, and you see her head flip back, and she falls down like a sack of potatoes. Dead on the ground. Nice. And Wax will... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Wax will uh, do that as kind of like a turn behind the... As he's like walking away kind of shot. Uh, and then move into the car. Perfect. All right. So you are in the car. Grandma, it's your turn. Okay. So we got two dead combatants here. This is... And... And... This guy over here, right? Yeah, sure but the good. only person you have uh, line of sight is that dude, yeah. Right, and they are quite some way from me. Can you see the targeting when I... when I? When yeah, I, I can see your on? ruler, yeah. And can you see when I select the target as well, when I do that? Uh, Not when you select it, but if you click and hold, it does this little oh, ping okay. for me. Oh, cool. Oh, that's I get, how you do little, it. I get, I get this little orange, like arrows around it because i've selected him as a target oh yeah yeah you can do that too uh okay so 16 meters uh which is not i i also have only short range weapons you can hold um, your action yeah okay so i i'm going to um level my shotgun out the window mm -hmm. and if they approach within the next range band i'm gonna fire Okay, sounds good. All right, so you're yeah. holding your action. It is now this booster's turn over here. Seeing how her leader has been shot, she is mortally wounded. I'm going to do a will check for her. Hmm. And basically, if she gets anything above a four, she's going to want to run away. Six, oh, yep. She hops into this vehicle and turns yeah. the vehicle around, turns it on, and that will actually end her turn. Right. Because turning on a vehicle is your full action. This guy seeing her run away has to roll under a three. So let's see, it is his turn. A three, he rolls a three, and he's gonna stay in the battle. Oh, what a dick. He's, to him. he's he's gonna steal himself, run forward, get as close as possible, I think up to here. And now that all of you are in the vehicle, he's just gonna fire at the vehicle. Do I yeah. get a shot at him before he um Absolutely. If you would like to if you'd like to shoot him now, then it is your chance to do it. Yes. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, so for this. I would so say ten cheek. meters. It means light him up in Russian. Yeah. Twenty. Crit as fuck. Beautiful! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Get him, Phil. A Get him, 33 on the dice. Roll that 5d6. Oh, critical injury! I mean, just for the to shits and giggles. It. We love to see it. Let's see what happens here. What's the critical here. injury? Are oh, you doing it? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I did it. Crushed fingers again. That's insane. Nice. So, <laughs> You do a crit, you fire at him, and as he was aiming his pistol, your slugs meet their mark, shredding his hand into pieces. The gun <laughs> flies off, and the other slugs hit him in the face, in the chest. He falls down to the ground, a bloody mess. And it is Sprocket's turn. I mean, you got a gap. Combat is over. 
with that, the uh, unless you guys are going to chase this other combatant, that other one is just going to no. run away. Nah, I'm getting the fuck out of here. The My main question is to ask, uh, where do we need to go? Do we get them back? Do we get back to the, uh, the team? Can they help patch up us, our guys? Or do we need to get straight back to heaven? Let's drop him off at, at Vargas at the crime scene and, and get on with our, our goddamn day. Wax, so Wax will you need bl- medical like, attention. With, like, cough up a tiny bit of blood and be like, oh, let's just go to heaven. Let's take him with us. He's fine. He might enjoy heaven. Will they have, will they have medical attention back at the scene? Sure. They, they, they'll... There are emergency the services. I'm sure there's. they've got emergency Okay, I'm going to go straight there. Wex, they'll see to you too. Just <sighs> sit back, relax. Yeah, and maybe this asshole up. will change his opinion about you guys. Hey, look at that, Wex. You were right. You didn't die. You didn't die! As much as I tried. <laughs> You're so good at this, Wex. <laughs> yeah, that's right. As much as you tried. Wex will um, smile and then close his eyes. <laughs> while we're on, while we're driving, can I quickly, can I quickly stabilize, uh, stabilize Wax's injuries? Yeah, yeah, of course. You can give him a speed heal, even. Yeah, yeah, because he has no so, critical injuries, so there's nothing that you need to do on that front. But you can administer a speed heal to give him. Well, I think I need to, I need to stabilize him to activate his natural healing, right? Uh, he's not at half health, is he? Uh, I'm at 17 of 35, so... You, any, any, yeah. any... In- oh, okay, then, yeah. He's yeah. he heavy wounds. Yeah, so, so you, you're a, you're incurring negatives right now, unless... Yeah, uh, yeah I'm at negative twos. Okay, so go everything. for it. Give me a paramedic. For stabilized throw. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, perfect. That's just enough. That will stabilize him. You are no longer incurring negatives, and the bleeding has stopped. Nice. And would Fantastic. you like to administer a speed heal as well? This is going to feel a little bit tingly down to your nerve ending. Nice. Hypo to the neck. Nice. I'm just picturing now, Wax like literally doing this. It only, it only works if you, if you take it easy for a day or two, okay? Wax will fix like grandma me? with, Wax will fix, fix grandma with a stare and be like, <laughs> yeah, I know. So you Bro, have just healed uh, your I body and will, easy. right? Body plus will. That's how much he uh, just healed with the speed heal. I think so. Uh, oh yeah, I've got the potion one, haven't I? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, you uh, brewed that. I, so yeah. once Ooh, a day you would. For some heal. reason I thought it was the it was the double it was the the double daily healing, but no, it's the um it's the instant healing one. Didn't we give that away? He and made more than one. I brewed two. Oh, no, okay, cool. cool. Cool, 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 I brewed yeah. two because that's I have two points uh, yeah. in in med tech. Mm, medical mm. tech. So let me just quickly check it. Sorry, it is in roll abilities. Um it is in med tech. It is speed heal. When injected with a dose of speed heal, a target who is not mortally wounded uh immediately heals. HP equal to their body plus will. Yep. And you're no longer mortally wounded or seriously Fantastic. wounded or anything like that. Uh, so I heal 10 because I have a body of 5 and a will of 5. So. There you go. So 10. Yeah. That's great. That's very good. Oh, I can just do that. Feels super tingly. You just like, yeah, I you know start. You, you feel that uh, your natural healing factor uh, is boosted. You feel your sinus is open, and your everything just vibrates within you as the speed heal goes through your blood system, and you feel much much better than you ever have, especially with the the bleeding has stopped and everything. Mm, mm. Uh, Wax will look at Grammar and be like, "Bruh, nice. I like mm-hmm. this stuff." You got any more? Uh, okay. we need, well, I need a couple of hours in the clinic, but yeah, I can make more. Cool. We should be more friends. And <laughs> as you guys uh, are... Be careful with <laughs> drug oh. use, uh, Wex. <laughs> nah, it's only careful. It's only You only need to be careful if uh, things go wrong. And, that um, never happens. <laughs> as you guys are pulling up to heaven, you're getting to heaven's gate, 
and uh, Sprocket, your car is like smoking at this point from being shot and all those things. And um, you finally get inside to the motor pool. You open your doors and you're about to walk out and you see Skip running at you guys and just waving at you guys. And and, and she comes huffing and puffing. <sighs> oh, sorry, we we found another body. God damn it! We can't keep up. Who is it? It's Sierra. It? It's Sierra Park. We found his body, and you don't have to travel Stop. very far. We what? need to. We need Where? medical attention now. Uh, not just for us, but for uh, this police officer. We had to help out. She looks and she's like, "Yeah, yeah, we'll take care of him." I just, uh, just follow me. Skip, where is it? Oh God, it's in heaven, isn't it? It's here. At one of the upper floors, one of the abandoned floors that we haven't looked at yet. Something got okay. through our, our our security system. I didn't see it. I mean, I don't know how it happened. He was in a trash bag. I don't know how he was brought in with a trash bag. I don't know how nobody saw that. But there's something going on with Dreamland. There's something going on. It, now Dreamland is acting weird. It, it, it was asking for you guys. Asking for you to get here before it can start its new protocol. It shouldn't be dependent on us. Like, we're just... We're just people. We're just ge- we're just dreamers, man. Like we're nobody. I mean, we're great. We're the best. Why yeah. is it asking for us? But we're nobody the special. Was only, was only ever meant to be like an organizational tool. It, it was it was meant to just crunch the numbers. It's not meant to depend on or make decisions for us. I know, and I I, I, I talked yeah. I talked to Silver, and she told me some things that I don't think that we realized and it has to do with these corporates. God damn it. And All right. W- w- we better w- investigate before we lose anyone else. Let's Can let's talk please... while we walk. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, and make sure he's taken care of even though he is kind of jerk face. She uh radios in. Right. She radios in for a med team to come down to the motor pool to transfer a cryogenic bag. He and can have my he can have my cryo tank spot for the for a day. Uh, and give me one second here. You guys head over to the fifty eighth floor. Huh. Jesus. The fifty eighth floor is littered with rubble, office paper, oh. cigarette butts, and long forgotten garbage. Lately, Dreamland has been referring to these decrepit floors as fixer-uppers. And these types of floors are dead zones with no surveillance and the perfect place to commit a crime such as murder. And here is Sierra Park laying in one of these floors as Skip is standing with you guys, mutilated. And as you guys are here looking at this body... Silver joins you guys and she walks up and um, can we get a quick description of what Silver looks like from uh, from you, Phil? Uh, so, yeah, Silver is um, a... Let me just... I have a doc, doc on my NPCs. But she's um, she's a, 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 a in her kind of middle age um, she has like a short cropped silver hair um and um she's she's a little bit uh she's got some some well-worn thickened line that's on her face from from uh you know a, a life of concerns um but uh she, she while she's sort of uh no no nonsense she definitely has like a compassionate streak for her fellows as well um she's sort of a medium height medium build kind of kind of person uh, a pragmatic tech type Oh, I forgot that I created a thing for her. Hey. Cool. Okay. Maybe yeah, she has longer hair. She's <laughs> cute. I assume she was younger. She's younger than I imagine. Yeah, yeah. So my yeah, bad. That's cool. That's it's cool. it's the no, newest cool. bio sculpting that's going. That's all the craze. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she looks great. 
So she comes and usually she's really jokey, especially with Wax. They have this special relationship. Um, but all of that has gone from her face and she really has a worried look. And she says, uh, listen, uh, we've been going through some of the subroutines with Dreamland because, of course, it's been acting really weird. And I'd finally been able to take a look at it with uh, one of our new interns. One, of, She's an ex-corporate... Uh, forgot her name, but she wears sleeveless shirts. Says, you know her wax or something like that? Yeah, we're well acquainted now. Yeah, I mean, she's obsessed with you. We won't, won't stop talking about you. But anyway, other than that... She found something very important. We were looking through Dreamland subroutines, and it seems that as soon as the corporates were let in, Dreamland refocused its energies and and calculations on safety and the safety of of uh, of the dreamers. And I think that it ran into contradictions as the corporates are classified as dangerous, but at the same time it. Dreamland wants to protect them as they're now dreamers and that conflict in her subroutine is causing all this weird shit that's happening and we we don't mm. know how to fix it. Please don't call it a her. It's sh- sorry, she's been it's been saying that it's. lately too. <laughs> I mean, I've always kind of thought of her as sexy, but each to their own. Um Yeah, that's a concern. See, here, uh, here's my issue, right? Is that I'm all about tech. Tech's great. Humans, shit. AI is a whole different kettle of fish. This is, this is my problem in me coming to heaven in the first place, is that you leave AI, there's a certain amount of fucking humanity that is imposed on it. This thing's now making decisions based on something completely arbitrary. We can't even get in and try and fix this thing manually. This isn't normal. This it's, shit it's, is not normal. It's, it's not dangerous, Spitfire. Dreamland is not dangerous. Dreamland is the opposite of dangerous. It's just trying to figure out how to do everything logistically. It's looking at everything logically. And its logic what? has reached the point where it's a logical fallacy. Uh, what does that have to do with the, this body? Surely... Dreamland doesn't have arms. It cannot uh, mutilate a, a, a person. Oh, well, well, maybe. We'll see. Dreamland. Maybe it, it's protecting the core. The, the, whoever. Whoever is, did this? Doing this, it thinks it's a dreamer and it's trying to protect them, maybe? Yeah. Dreamland. Probably. Dreamland thinks it has failed. We've lost two of our members, and one of them ends up dead here at home, the safest place that we ever thought we'd be at it's it's having issues dealing with it and it kept asking for you guys i mean i don't even know what that means why would it ask for you guys i don't know well, either apart from well it wanted us to investigate to begin with so maybe it's looking for hope or a lead or I don't know. I or, mean, they're wanting, or they're wanting us to uncover something that it will not be forthcoming about. If you're saying that it's trying to protect something, it needs someone that won't protect it to find it. So this thing knows something, but can't tell us that. Skip, so it wants trying, us to do dirty work. Skip pipes up and says, I know a solution. We kick all of these ex-suits out. Before they even got here, we didn't have any of these fucking problems. Yeah, but unfortunately that's like... Uh... So, like the problem isn't them right like it's a problem with our ability to deal with them and we gotta look to the future you know like I would love nothing more than to kick them all out but this is just exploit This is the reason this is happening is because there's a problem in our system and if it's not corpse it'll be someone else who you know runs afoul of that you know well i'll tell you what we also wax... don't have that kind of authority we don't have we don't have, can't just make a unilateral decision for the whole collective that they get kicked out that's not how this works maybe we yeah. vote on it maybe we have to do something about it i don't know but there's a lot of rhetoric well, going can... around right now well we can put it up to a vote but for now we need to deal with the issue at hand and that's people dying on our doorstep now if Dreamland wants to talk to us, our agents are are back online in the tower. So, yeah, let me take a look at. Hold on, wait a minute. And she starts going through her pad. What the fuck? That's strange. 
I'm going to bring out mine as well. Dreamland has shut itself off. Since when? Just just now. It's shut oh, itself good. off. We cool. have we cool, have cool, no cool. connection to Dreamland. Yeah, that's why it wanted us here, guys. Uh, it it uh, can't handle this or something. It, it it needs to. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm about that. And we'll see you guys that. next time. Oh. In corporate oh, infestation. Like dangerous. <laughs> ah. Well, oh guys, God. I hope you enjoyed that little roller coaster of emotions. No, I was literally crying within the first few minutes, John John. So <laughs> you've just done such a wonderful job. I'm about it. Uh, I may or may not have been thinking about it the entire in between. Like, oh my God, Malini's <laughs> going to get into a gunfight and then they got to figure out if they got to go. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. That man. was I really, love it. yeah, that, that psychopath, man. Ready, I love so. it. Was oh, great. Man. That was a lot of fun, guys. A lot of fun. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, Baby Beard Media. Make sure you guys go to that Patreon, patreon.com slash babybeard, and you show them your support. Ambrosia Island. Sean finally got them to the island. And We're here. They, yeah. They've made We're it. We're there. <laughs> we're fucking shit up <laughs> and uh phil is gonna go have an existential crisis as i have totally flipped his uh, setting upside down <laughs> oh, your npc was actually way more accurate <laughs> because i have her listed as being 26 years old tall slight and angular so there we go your depiction is way closer Thought that she was a young woman because yeah. there was like the sense that like normally she and wax would have like a romantic that's relationship right, yeah. but that was out of yeah. out of the ordinary because they're so platonic that's yeah. right that's yeah. Right. yeah exactly yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah that's it can't keep it all in my head that's it <laughs> you've got a twitch you got a twitch stream to run man you got all those <laughs> all extra all characters right. to think about exactly yeah. Yeah. anyway make anyway sure part of the cyberpunk red community <laughs> and so you can be uh, excited for all of these things subscribe to baby Beard media subscribe to john john the wise go to the facebook pages go to the twitter accounts and follow our games on twitter.com uh, follow us i'm bonding chris i'm ellen k graham one i'm scruff s-k-k-r-u-f i'm slow s-l-i-e-r-l <laughs> all right and i'm john john the wise thank you guys so much have a wonderful week we'll see you on the next one ladies and gentlemen bye bye beautiful